What is the purpose of an apology? Now, where I come from, the purpose of an apology is to be forgiven. Someone's done something wrong. All of us do. When we do, when someone does something wrong, we look at what we've done wrong. Someone comes to us and apologizes. We forgive that person. We continue friendship. We pick up where we left off. That person can now advise other people not to be so foolish and make those same mistakes. And they can go on and continue living. They don't have to die because they apologize. That's something all of us, every one of us, needs to do again and again, many multiple times throughout our lives. Once we no longer need to apologize, we die because there's no more purpose of living. Arguably, apologizing is the purpose of life. So, we can get all of our apologies out of the way before we go on. Well, Megan Kelly apologized. She had made some comments about blackface. I'm not going to go into the details. You can watch that. The link to this is in the description and it's all over the news anyway. She was wrong. She got blackface confused with a respectful way of doing makeup and then she said that blackface was okay. Blackface is not okay. Blackface is where white people would paint black makeup and leave large rings around their eyes and mouth in order to be disrespectful towards black people. It was terrible, horrible. Megan didn't really know what she was talking about. Maybe that was her mistake. After all, she is in the news journalism business. She should know what she's talking about. But Megan was wrong and she apologized. Did ABC forgive her? Did NBC forgive her? Did the liberals forgive her? Of course not. Of course not. No way. Because they don't know what the purpose of an apology is. Megan, the challenge you face in your life is that you are an honest person, Megan. You're conscientious. You want to do the right thing. But you work in an industry that does not. In this industry, they believe, and now we finally have proof here in this commentary. Not in what Megan says, not in her audience forgiving her with, you know, by way of the standing ovation, but in the commentary from ABC. The one unsighted, unquoted, merely anonymously referenced, could be totally made up, could be, could be, a, could be herself putting on the social media and, and that justifies saying social media. Anonymously quotes, kind of, paraphrases social media as saying that a standing ovation, which is forgiveness in this case, defeats the purpose of an apology in the first place. ABC is wrong and they should correct that, but they don't want to because the reason that they quoted this social media is because that's what ABC really believes. I think that the people at ABC don't seem to understand that refusing to forgive someone is like drinking poison and expecting someone else to die. It doesn't make any sense. Megan understands forgiveness, but her industry does not. Let's look at Megan's apology and then let's look at the confusion about the purpose of apologies that comes after that. And that given the history of blackface being used in awful ways by racists in this country, it is not okay for that to be part of any costume, Halloween or otherwise. After Kelly's apology, a standing ovation. She should have. They're forgiving. And now that standing ovation is the source of even more backlash. Social media users pounce saying, what social media users, ABC? Why aren't you going after this lady, this reporter? Why aren't you going after her, ABC, for saying you should say which social media users and you should quote them? Why aren't you going after her? Unless that's just a way for her to act like she's reporting news so you can get the opinion that you really agree with in the first place up here on TV. So what she's going to say here is not journalism because she doesn't have a source. But this is allowed on ABC as the final word because that's what ABC really thinks about this. Because frankly, that's what the whole industry thinks about this. That is, that's the only reason that I can think of for why ABC would allow this non-journalism here to happen. I mean, when you say social media and you report information, you're supposed to have a source and she doesn't. So here's that opinion. 
While her apology was necessary, the ovation was cringeworthy and undermines the point of the apology in the first place, David. All right. There we have it. We now know that the news industry does not understand the purpose of apologies. In their view, the purpose of an apology is to have self-incriminating evidence. You apologize, see, you admitted it. And they use that against the person as witness against the person. So now that you've apologized, you can just lay down and die and be done with it. That is the difference between the left and the right in politics, in America, in the society, the whole worldview. This, this is very sad. Someone needs to go to ABC and teach them what forgiveness is. Those of you in the news media need to be very aware of this. There are people throughout America who believe that the purpose of an apology is to have restoration so that we don't have to die, so that we can continue on and fix what we've done wrong and make better lives for everybody and warn others of the past that we regret. Going on, continuing, making the world a better place, not using an apology as finally the excuse for someone to just destroy us forever, as the media always does with everybody. We all need forgiveness every day, all of us do. And for those of you that don't understand that, a day is coming when you will need to apologize. And on that day, whatever your definition of the reason for an apology in the first place is going to be what happens to you. If you don't learn to forgive, you will not be forgiven. I'm going to choose forgiveness. Thank you, Megan. Thank you. I forgive you. And I hope that you continue on somewhere and make the world a better place for journalism with a network and with audiences that are worthy because they do, unlike ABC and the rest, understand what forgiveness is all about.